All right. So I know Corey from SNA Auto, and then Cody from Cody's Auto Diagnostics, and Mario from uh, Super Mario Diagnostics all made videos about their career and how they came up. So I decided it's probably good that uh, I introduce myself as well. <laughs> so I guess we should start when, uh, when I was in high school. I was working construction in the summer times and I hated it. I hated working construction, but I did enjoy working with my hands. And my, my cousin at the time actually had a race car that was pretty cool and he let me help him, which, which is what ended up causing me to decide to go to a Votech school to learn how to work on cars. Which is funny because I'll be honest with you guys, I don't like cars. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you the difference between a 69 Mustang and a 69 Camaro. The only thing about cars I like is when they're fast or when they're broken. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no interest in them. When people lift trucks, I think it's impractical because I think trucks are meant to haul things and can't haul things in a lifted truck. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's funny that, that I have a YouTube channel based on, on cars and, and fixing cars, when I have no interest in cars, none. I just enjoy fixing cars. <laughs> but then I, I got out of my Votech school and I got a job at Saturn working under a guy as, a, as an apprentice. And he was a good guy, he taught me a lot. But shortly after I started, he got he got a job as a truck driver driving 18 wheelers a lot of guys a lot of the older guys quit at the same time and there was just me and a, and a kid a year older than me who's actually a good friend of mine um we were working at the saturn dealership together and we were the only kids we were the only kids working there all the older guys quit and it and it was rough we had no clue what we were doing but it was a blessing in disguise because it forced us to learn what we were doing. Uh, I learned, I learned that I wasn't gonna learn, wasn't gonna learn as much as I wanted to learn sticking at a Saturn dealership, so I went to a Toyota dealership. Uh, shortly after starting at the Toyota dealership, I was sent through Toyota training pretty quickly. They had a program called uh, the boot camp program where I went to training one week a month down in Glen Burnie, Maryland, which was nice. I, I learned so much in that training with electrical and brakes, steering and suspension. You gotta remember, I only went to a Votech school in high school and I didn't learn as much as you can learn. So it was nice to get, get some good quality training through Toyota. After I got through boot camp, which as you can see in this picture that I'm about to show, show you they gave me some sweet uh, leather jackets <laughs> I, I ended up going through ranger camp as well which was the same same setup I'd go one week a month um, for a couple months and I got my hybrid training so I was actually I became a master at a pretty young age I think I was a master at 23 uh, the following year, I was eligible to take the MDT test, which is the Master Diagnostic Technician test that Toyota had, and I passed it when I was 24, which I guess is more so where this story begins. When I passed the MDT test, it has a pretty high fail rate. They actually ended up creating a Facebook page for people to share answers and cheat on the test because it, it was a pretty hard test for a lot of guys to take. After I passed the MDT test, I, I thought I knew a lot about cars. It had a high fail rate. I thought, oh, I'm good. And I quit learning. I, lear I knew how to work on Toyotas. I knew how to fix Toyotas. I knew how to diagnose Toyotas. And I was good for a couple years. I was good. Then I had an apprentice start with me. And this apprentice actually went to Rosedale Technical Institute and he took classes with Scanner Danner. He was asking me questions that I didn't know how to answer. And uh, it humbled me. Yeah, pretty greatly it humbled me. 
and I ended up going home, watching every single Scanner Danner video I could, watching every South Main Auto video that I could, reading every book that I can find. After uh, watching all those videos and reading all those books, I ended up uh, I ended up finding a Facebook page called the Technicians Training Group, where I seen a guy named Brandon Steckler kind of doing a little Facebook class on in-cylinder pressure testing, which I have never seen, at that point I had never seen done. And I thought it was pretty amazing that you can diagnose internal issues through a spark plug hole or a vacuum hose. So at that point I, I realized that I needed to expand myself past the training I was getting through Toyota. It's good training, no doubt, but I'm never going to attend a Toyota class that has in-cylinder pressure testing which is when I decided to uh, go to Vision. My wife actually got me the trip to go to Vision this past year. And uh, she, she knew I probably wasn't gonna pay the money to go myself. So she ended up doing it for me, which is greatly appreciated. So I ended up going to Vision. I ended up learning a lot. Took Brandon's class. I, I recommend anybody who has the opportunity to go to a Brandon Steckler class. But uh, that's, I guess that's my story.